You can ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program, so I don't die. Jeff. Yes, indeed. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh. Fine. Dancing during water wastes precious energy. Proteans only dance on the graves of their enemies. What's going on over here? Commander, I am keeping my skills whole. Yeah, I can see that. Do not worry. It is perfectly safe. Mostly perfectly safe. And yet I'm still not comforted. Yeah. 
Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. We do what we can. on deck has he always been like this shepherd is saving the galaxy you have to forgive a few eccentricities it's very enthusiastic we should record this and broadcast it for the reapers they'll either run away melt down or fall in love well i like it commander it's good to see you cut loose now and then thank you all for your loyalty and support Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Tally? Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Game on. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Our last one until you finish kicking the Reaper's asses, you mean? Because that's the plan. Can't wait to see what the hell you make us do next. It's been a good ride. <laughs>